So many of you probably weren't around when I made my original liquid metal video where I liquid metaled my daily driver with my Kraken X62 to see kind of how it worked. And I've been running it with liquid metal on it ever since I think that video came out in September. So it's been quite a while since uh, we looked inside there. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna open that back up and we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see if, uh, if everything is still together and how it looks and what got damaged. I will say though, when I originally liquid metaled it or originally put it together, I was running at a five gigahertz overclock and I've slowly ramped that down. I think I'm at four seven now and it's, um, I didn't have really stability issues, but I did notice is, you know, it's, it seems like temperatures have creeped up. So we'll see exactly how well it looks. And then we'll, we'll do a repaste with just normal, you know, thermal paste as liquid metal really isn't worth it for using as a thermal compound. We'll see how it works compared to what it is now. And hopefully we'll get the thermals back down. I wouldn't say they're anything crazy, but I have noticed that uh, the fans run a lot faster than they used to. You know, I won't say that the temperatures are higher than they were, but the fans definitely are louder. So let's open up and see what's going on. Okay, before we get crazy and tear this thing all down, let's uh, let's talk about how it scored right now. So I already cleaned out this morning, I already cleaned out all the dust in the radiator, and I ran an Ida 64 stress test for about 30 minutes to kind of see where we're sitting at now. So then when we change the compound, we can see exactly if we got any temperature improvements or if things got worse, or we'll just see what happened. But the scores for that were as followed. So the idle temperature set about 35.8 degrees. We had an average package temperature after the run of 71 on the nose and our room temperature this morning is a little chilly at 17.7 degrees Celsius, which gives us a Delta of 53.3. So now we're going to take it apart and try to get all the liquid metal out. Probably take the whole motherboard out just to make sure we get it all. Cause I know there's little pieces here and there and we want to make sure that it's all gone. We don't want anything to, we don't want to let the blue magic smoke out because then electronics don't work anymore. So let's get tearing it down and We'll see exactly what we're working with. got everything back together and everything is still working so that's good we didn't break anything didn't fry anything no liquid metal got to where it wasn't supposed to be but how did it do so I, I ran the same test again with the new paste we used arctic silver this time around and this is how it scored so the Kraken X2 with new paste 30 minutes Ida 64 the idle temperatures are now 36.9 the average package temperatures were 75.5 and the room temperature during testing was 21.4 giving us a delta of 54.1 so if we look at what it was when we had liquid metal in there we can see that we're actually slightly higher i would say it's only slightly i don't even know if you really counted it. it's pretty much a wash it did about the same as it did with the old liquid metal versus the new paste so in the end really no change it did just as good as it was going to do regardless of what thermal compound we used. But does that mean you should use liquid metal as a thermal compound? Well, I mean, I did it just because I wanted to see what would happen. And so we could all see the effects of using it over a long period of time, how it affects components and you know how it 
degrades over time. And what I've seen is it doesn't so far, you know, at least in the amount of time that I use it. Maybe if you use it longer, it would just like thermal compound, but for the most part, it does just as about as good as any thermal compound. But should you use it? No, I don't think you should. I mean, it's, yeah, you can if you want, it's your computer, there's nothing stopping you. Just be careful and you have nothing really to worry about. I mean, I used it for quite a while. I didn't just leave my computer here. I took it on the road with me. I moved it from upstairs to downstairs. I was always moving around. I didn't have any liquid metal leak out on anything or burn anything up. Obviously my copper now looks a little crappy, but it works just the same as it always has been. So if you really want to use liquid metal, go for it. It's your computer. Just make sure you take some care to make sure you don't get it anywhere you shouldn't. But I think, you know, going forward, if I'm going to use thermal compound, it's just going to be a good thermal paste because everything that I see leads me to believe that there's really no benefit in using liquid metal as a thermal compound. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I think now that we have the liquid metal test out of there, maybe I'll start throwing in a new cooler. Maybe I'll do something crazy like put in the Noctua NHU-12A and daily drive that for a while, even though the fans aren't RGB. Um, maybe I can make them more visually appeasing and uh, we can try that out for a while because that thing, that thing worked really well. So, till next time.